This is the Convention Center in downtown San Jose. Tomorrow night, it plays host to the annual Silicon Valley Charity Ball. But today, it's the venue for the third annual Computer Bowl, in which a team of computer experts from the East Coast takes on a team of computer experts from the West Coast to see which side knows more about computer trivia. Now, last week, we brought you the first half of the game. Today, the final two rounds of Computer Bowl 3 on this special edition of the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by Central Point Software, suppliers of utility software, including disk backup, data recovery, file and desktop management, and virus protection. Central Point Software, making computing safer, simpler, faster. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, which reminds you it's a federal offense to copy software, and by PC Connection and Mac Connection, and by Byte Magazine and Bix. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Schiffe, and in just a moment, I'll be joined by Bill Gates, chairman of Microsoft, as we co-host part two of the third annual Computer Bowl, sponsored by the Computer Museum. Now, as we left the game at halftime last week, the East Coast was ahead, so we expect to see a hard-fought second half as both teams vie to take home the treasured Computer Bowl. The captain of the West Coast team is Heidi Roizen. The captain of the East is Pamela McCordick. So off we go to the San Jose Convention Center for the final half of this year's Computer Bowl. Welcome back to Computer Bowl 3, presented by the Association of Computing Machinery. We're here at the San Jose Convention Center. We've played two rounds so far, and the bad news for the West, anyhow, is that the East is ahead 160 to 80, so you've got your work cut out for you guys. Now, for those of you who are joining us just now on television, let me introduce, reintroduce for you our celebrity panelists. For the challengers from the East Coast, who are doing a pretty good job of challenging, we have James Clark from AT&T. John Armstrong from IBM. The captain of the East Coast team, computer historian Pamela McCordick. John Markoff from the New York Times. And Samuel Fuller from Digital Equipment. For the defending champs over here, the West Coast team, we have Philippe Kahn of Borland. David Liddell from Metaphor Computer Systems. The captain of the West Coast team from T-Maker Heidi Roizen. David House from Intel. And Ed Juge from Tandy. And our judges to remind you are John Doerr of Kleiner Perkins Caulfield and Byers and Pat McGovern from IDG. Once again, our official examiner for Computer Bowl III, Bill Gates of Microsoft. And let's get going because I think the West is kind of eager here, Bill. <laughs> now, I think I have to help you for this first question. <sighs> this is a Comptometer from the Computer Museum. The question is, who developed the adding system for this machine? Was it Pascal, Leibniz, or Babbage? Babbage. <laughs> Juge on the West. <laughs> Babbage. He's trying to help you. That's wrong. Oh. <laughs> Would somebody from the East Coast like to give that a try? I need to hear a buzzer. Okay, Pamela. It was Leibniz. That is also wrong. The answer is Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question, Bill. The bit is a very common and important computer term. Who first used the word bit? Was it John Tuckey, Donald Knuth, John McCarthy? McCordick on the East. John Tukey. John Tukey is correct. Ten more points for the East. <laughs> Next question, Bill. Logo has been a popular educational language for children. Who created Logo? Liddell on the West. Seymour Papert. Seymour Papert is right. Ten points for the West Coast. <laughs> Next question. Atari is the name of a personal computer company, but it is also a word Liddell on the West. <laughs> You're sort in of the game, out there. In the game of Go, it means warning or That's exactly check. right. Yeah. 
All right, we are coming up. We're coming up to a bonus question now, which will get you into a 30-point bonus round. Pay attention, please. Among the early machines in the history of computers were the ENIAC, the ILIAC, and the MANIAC. MANIAC was an acronym for Mechanical and Numerical Integrator and Computer. The question is, where was the MANIAC built? McCorduck from the East. Uh, Los Alamos. That's correct. Ten points for the East Coast, and you are into a bonus round, and the category is acronyms. Remember, answer only through your captain. You may discuss it. You have 10 seconds a question, 10 points a question. The word Sun in the company name Sun Microsystems is an acronym. What do the letters S-U-N stand for? Okay, Stanford University Network. You are correct for 10 points. <laughs> for years, BASIC was one of the most commonly used programming languages for personal computers. BASIC is, of course, an acronym. What do the letters in BASIC stand for? Beginners all-purpose. You have 10 seconds. Beginners, all-purpose, symbolic instruction code. You are right again for another 10 points. All right, here's the third question in this bonus round to make it a clean sweep. Plato is the name of an educational software environment. Plato is an acronym. What do the letters in Plato stand for? You have 10 seconds. I need an answer in five seconds to Plato. We're out of time, I'm afraid. I need an answer, Pam. Yes, now or never. Okay. Programmed learning and training. Good shot, but no, you're already wrong. <laughs> Programmed logic for automatic teaching operations, Plato. Okay, at the end of the bonus round, it is now 200 points for the East Coast, 100 points for the West Coast. We have some time, guys. Let's get going, Bill. In August 1981, nearly 10 years ago, a major new personal computer was introduced. What was the computer? Markov on the East Coast. The IBM personal computer. Of course, the IBM PC. 10 points. Next. If you wanted to square all the integers from 1 to 10,000, which computer would you pick to get the job done most quickly? The TRS-80 Model 1 or the ENIAC? Armstrong on the East. The, the, the TRS. That's correct, and it's by a factor of 10, by the way. Point six seconds on the TRS-80, six seconds on the ENIAC. Next question. Well, today we talk about the 8386 and the 8486 Intel processors. One of the earliest Intel chips was the Lowly 4004. What was the first commercial application for the 4004? Markov on the East Coast. A desktop calculator. I think we'll give you that answer, correct. Judges, do you want to think about that? A desktop calculator. That's essentially the correct answer. Yes, okay. Ten points. That's right. Next question, next question. Score right now, 230 to 100, favor the East. What do you call a local area network method that routes messages through... Clark on the East Coast. A ring, token ring, a ring. Ring Network is the correct answer. <laughs> Next bill. 3Com is a well-known name in the local area network field. The company name is short for 3... Liddell on the West. Computer Communication Compatibility. Well done. <laughs> 240 to 110, Bill. The database program DBase4 is an upgrade of DBase3, which is an upgrade of DBase2. For what operating system was DBase2 originally written? <laughs> Philippe Kahn on the west. CPM. Is correct. <laughs> All right, we are getting into a bonus question now, which will lead to one of those big bonus rounds. Pay attention, Bill. Deep Thought is now considered to be one of the world's best chess playing computers. But way back in 1967, a computer for the first time beat a serious chess player during a state chess tournament. McCordick on the east. It was Mac Hack. No. Oh. <laughs> That's essentially the correct answer. There's a little piece left out. Judges, what do you think? It's the Mac Hack 4 is the correct answer. No. 
It's not acceptable. We're going with complete answers. Okay, we are going to go to another bonus question then to give everybody a fair chance to get into that bonus round. Yeah, Bill, move to 19, please. In 1679, a famous mathematician perfected the binary system of notation. Who is that mathematician? Armstrong on the east. Uh, Gottfried Leibniz. That's the correct answer. Okay, into the bonus round for the East Coast. We're gonna talk about computer games. Remember, you consult, Pam gives the answer. Arcade-style video games are often thought of as male-oriented, yet a woman named Donna Bailey designed one of the most successful video games. Which game was it? Centipede? You don't have to... <laughs> I know you guys are eager to go, but I'm sorry. Was it Centipede, Tempest, or Ms. Pac-Man? You have 10 seconds. Centipede. Centipede for the Atari is the correct answer. <laughs> According to an article in the IEEE Spectrum magazine, what was the first video game to become popular with women players as well as men? No multiple choice here. You've got to come up with it. For 10 points. Pac-Man. That is correct answer. Yes. All right. For the last 10 points in this bonus round, another computer game question. Computer Space, Pong, Space War, and Space Race are all names of computer video games. Which of these, back in 1970, was the first commercial video arcade game? I need an answer in five seconds. I need an answer. Pong. No, I'm afraid that's not the answer. Computer space is the answer to that question. Well, you got 20 points out of that bonus round. You still have a commanding lead. 270 for the East, 120 for the West. Here's a toss-up question again. You can now get ready to ring your buzzers west. A byte is usually defined as eight bits. What is the term for four bits? Clark on the east? A nibble. A nibble is correct for another 10 points. The haloid process describes a process in which of the following activities? Manufacturing ICs, soldering components, photocopying. Clark on the East Coast? Photocopying. Photocopying, correct, again for another 10 points. What color is the stripe painted on the raised floor of the machine room in the AI lab at MIT? Could you please repeat the question? <laughs> repeat, you can repeat the question. What color is the stripe painted on the raised floor of the machine room in the AI lab at MIT? Roizen, West Coast. Red. I'm afraid that's wrong. Good gamble, but wrong. The East Coast, you've got a shot at it for 10 points. Who's going to go for it? I need to hear a buzzer. Yes, Fuller? I go for black. I'm afraid that's wrong also. The answer was yellow. For whatever it's worth. <laughs> Next question, Bill. While working at Xerox, Gary Starkweather is credited with inventing the laser printer. When did that happen? Was it 1969, 1973, 1977? Liddell on the West Coast? 1969. 69 is correct. 10 points for the West Coast team. All right, we have one more question left in round three. Bill, go ahead. I'll give you two names. You tell me in what field they do research. Berliner and Schenck. McCordick on the East Coast. Berliner does research in uh, computer chess, and Schenck does research in uh, artificial intelligence, in particular language. Judges, what do you think on that? I would what's guess. The, what's the correct answer? The correct answer, well, we have artificial intelligence. I would think that sort of incorporates yeah, what, I would, what Pam said. We'd accept that. All right, it's the end of round three. The East Coast has 300 points. The West Coast, 130 points. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Computer Bowl 3 for the final round. The score right now, the East Coast, a commanding lead of 300 points. The West Coast, 130 points. There is still time, guys. It's never over till it's over. <laughs> Bill, let's get going with the first toss-up question. One piece of technology that has never quite made it is the picture phone. When and where was the picture phone first displayed? Was it the 1939 New York World's Fair? The House on the West Coast. World's Fair. 
I'm sorry, what did you say? 1939 World's Fair. That is not the right answer, I'm afraid. You can finish the question, Bill, for the East Coast. The 1962 Seattle World's Fair or the 1964 New York World's Fair? I need one person from the East who wants to give this a shot. Clark is first on the East Coast. 64 New York. That's the correct answer, 64 New York World's Fair. Which of the following computers is not a binary machine? A Tanisoft machine, Bell Labs 1, Univac, or CDC 1604? You've got 10 seconds. Which one is not a binary machine? McCordick on the East Coast. A Tanisoft machine. That is not the right answer. Anybody on the West like to give that a try? Yes, Philippe. CDC. That is not the right answer either, I'm afraid. The answer is the Univac. <laughs> no, no fighting among yourselves. Go ahead, Bill. How many jobs can an IBM 360 computer execute at once? <laughs> 10 seconds. All right, Fuller on the east. One. That's right. That's a pretty bad question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Bill. John von Neumann is a well-known pioneer in the computer field. In what area did he first, did he get his first college degree? Was it... Liddell on the West Coast? Mathematics. I'm sorry? Mathematics. I'm afraid that is not the correct answer. Bill, finish the question Was it the East Coast. chemical engineering, electrical engineering, or mechanical engineering? Chemical engineering. Yes, Armstrong. Chemical engineering is the right answer. 10 points for the East. 20. All right, we're coming up to a bonus question now. The East Coast roaring ahead with 350 points. The West Coast, 130 points. At least make it interesting. Here's the bonus question. <laughs> what do the following three things have in common? Boris, Sherdlu, Meissen. That's the question. All right, Markov. They're all, all artificial intelligence software programs? That's correct, they're all AI programs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a bonus round for the East Coast again, and the subject will be AI. Consult, answer through your captain. Roger Penrose wrote a book about artificial intelligence. What was its title? The Emperor's, the Emperor's New Mind. That is correct for 10 points. There are several expert systems which have been developed for a variety of application areas. I'm going to name the expert system. You name the author. There's three of them. You need all three to get the 10 points. I'll give you the system. Hearsay. Five seconds. Ready. That's correct. Mycin. Uh, Feigenbaum. That's not correct. Doesn't matter now because you missed one, but just for the heck of a dendril, which was Feigenbaum. <laughs> no, it was Edward Shortliff, I'm afraid, for Mycin. All right, you have another chance at 10 points in the bonus round. What was the name of the very first artificial intelligence program? Was it called the Logical Theorist, Logician, or it Cordy was, Op? It was called the Logical Theorist. Logical Theorist is correct, another 10 points. At the end of that bonus round, it is 380 points for the East, 130 <laughs> points for the West. A toss-up question for both sides, Bill. <laughs> when the original Macintosh first came out, how much RAM did it have? Heidi Roizen on the West. 128K. That's right, for 10 points on the West. <laughs> where, where is the Charles Babbage Institute located? McCordick East. In Minneapolis. That's the right answer. 10 more points for the East Coast. Next question, Bill. Here are three words, Miliac, Diliac, and celiac. One of those words was the name of a computer. Which one? Fuller on the East Coast. Celiac. Celiac is the right answer. That's a computer. <laughs> Ten more points for the East. Next toss-up question. The computer magazine Antic is devoted to the coverage of computers made. Markov on the East. Atari. Atari is correct. Ten more points for the East. All right, we're up to 400 points. For the East, 140 for the West, and we have another toss-up question. There is a famous vignette in which a well-known computer pioneer says, let me show you a nanosecond. House on the Grace West. Hopper. That's right, Grace Hopper was the answer. 
10 points for the West Coast team. Here's another toss-up question. In 1936, perhaps the most important paper in the history of computer science was published. It was titled, On Computable Numbers. Liddell of the West. Alan Turing. Correct, the author was Alan Turing. Here is a bonus question worth potentially 40 points. Pay attention, please. The, the names of the people who worked on the development of a famous personal computer, Markov of the East. Macintosh. That's correct. Finish the question. They do have the questions. Now, just for our audience, please finish the question, Bill. We're etched on the inside of its case. What was the computer? The answer was Macintosh. They're either very smart or they have the answers. I'm not sure which. That's fine. That's fine. That's you, are into, you are into another bonus round. Subject category is personal computer use. If you were using Lotus 123 and you wanted to center a label, what label prefix would you use? You don't have to ring. I'm, ple I'm sorry. I'm sorry for leaving. I'd like to help, but I can't. You mean you've used Lotus 123? Is it, is, it is it a carrot, a quote, an apostrophe, or a backslash? You have a multiple choice here. To center a label, I need an answer. It's a backslash. That is incorrect, it is a carrot. Okay, for another 10 points in this bonus round, if you were using word perfect, and the letters P-O-S are blinking on the screen, what does that tell you? <laughs> I need an answer in five seconds. I'm afraid your time is gonna be up. Time is up, I'm afraid. That means that numlock is on on your keyboard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Last in the bonus round question, Bill, close your ears. What are the three operating modes of Windows 3.0? I need an answer in five seconds. Your time will be up. Real, <laughs> real, native, and protected. I'm sorry, uh, please, please I, I, I can't hear your answer. Real, native, and protected. No, I'm afraid not. What's the answer, Bill? <laughs> real, standard, and enhanced. Okay. <laughs> All right, you missed that one. Nevertheless, nevertheless, at this point around four, the East is ahead, 420 points. The West Coast, 160 points. There's a little bit of time left, a toss-up question, Bill. We all know the term DOS, short for Disk Operating System, but there was also an operating system called SOS, S-O-S. What did the letters S-O-S stand for? Liddell on the West. Simple Operating System. I'm afraid that is not the right answer. Anybody on the East like to give it a try? I need a buzzer ring. Yes, Clark. Standard operating system. That is not the right answer either. The correct answer is sophisticated operating system. <laughs> Next question. On what microcomputer was SOS used? Markov on the east. The Apple III. The Apple III is the correct answer there. All right, right now it's 430 for the east, 160 for the west. Next question, Bill. If I were configuring a peripheral and I entered the following input, 1200N81. Markov on the east. It would be a modem. That's correct. You'd be configuring a modem. 1200 baud, no parity, 8 bits, one stopped it. All right, next question. On an external modem, there are usually several LED indicators to provide you with feedback on what the modem is doing. Can you tell me what these indicators stand for? CD. All right, uh, I will call on you, Ed, but you spoke too soon and you didn't hear the answer to the question, and it's wrong. <laughs> All right. Com complete the question, please, Bill. C-D-O-H-A-A. -A. East Coast, you've got a chance to answer this one. I need one person to buzz. Yes, Clark. O-H is off hook. That's one. Uh, C-D is carrier detect. That's two. I don't remember what you said the other set of letters were. Just tell me the other set of letters in the question. I think that's cheating. I think that's cheating. Judges, what do you say? Repeat the initial. Just repeat the initial. Okay. Judges say we can repeat A -A. it. A-A. 
AA Auto Answer. That's correct. <laughs> All right, another 10 points for the East Coast. The score 450 to 160 right now, 460 to 160 after that 10 point winner. All right, next question, Bill. Computer pioneer Charles Babbage was interested in many different kinds of inventions. According to the book, Digital Deli, Babbage tried to invent which one of the following gadgets? A portable steam engine, a cotton candy machine, or shoes for walking on water? Heidi Roizen of the West. Shoes for walking on water. That's correct. <laughs> 10 points for the West. So we'll but I'm afraid to tell you we are out of time, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of round four, the end of the computer bowl, the end of the reign of the West Coast team. The winner, certainly the revenge of the nerds, the East Coast team, 460 to 170. Congratulations to the newly victorious East Coast team. Congratulations to our West Coast players for a fine job. Thank you all for joining us at this third annual Computer Bowl. A special thanks to the Computer Museum and all the sponsors and underwriters who made this event possible. And for all of you watching at home, that's it for this week's special edition of the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles has been made possible in part by Central Point Software, makers of Central Point Antivirus, a comprehensive program for the detection, removal, and prevention of more than 500 computer viruses. Additional funding has been provided by the Software Publishers Association, which reminds you it's a federal offense to copy software, and by PC Connection and Mac Connection, and by Byte Magazine and Bix, the Byte Information Exchange.